All right, so here's a motor that I had been wanting to check out. This is the my RC Martz RCX NK2204 2400KV. So this motor is rather small compared to all, all of the big motors that we've been uh, getting lately, like the 2207s, 2306, 2507s, etc., etc. So this one came out uh, some time ago. I guess the main purpose was for a very light build on 5 inch. Uh, so 2204s have not been popular uh, lately because everybody everybody's going to the big motors. But then there was uh, there's been some interest in very uh, ultra light builds. So I guess that that's where this motor comes in. KV is kind of like mid low KV uh, 2400 and the size of course is a uh, fairly small small stator 2204 but the one thing with this motor is that it's got all the bells and whistles all, all the latest features you know that we've been coming to expect from all the new motors uh, so it's got a uh, arc magnets and the uh, one piece shaft uh, uh, 7075 aluminum construction all around and uh, large bearings actually and as you can see there's also a shaft retaining screw there so that's that's pretty cool so it's a full feature motor but in a small size uh, actually a size that hasn't been uh, that popular lately so so pretty interesting uh, motor from from RCX I think they on, they're only offering this one kV 2400 kV so as you see uh, pretty typical styling from uh, RCX uh, most of their motors have kind of like the similar uh, the similar pattern on the spokes here on the bell uh, just a minimal four spokes to keep it light and uh, uh, now they're going uh, this was one of the first ones with the naked bottom actually uh, then later on a few weeks later uh, uh, the 2306 came out and now the 2207s are coming out uh, they've just been released recently uh, so those other two motors I also tested the results are on the channel uh, just look for them uh, pretty good performing motors as well the NK2306 I believe is 2400 or 2500 I forget and the other one is uh, 2700 and similar KVs for the 2207 so those, those other motors also perform quite well uh, all right, so let's uh, let me take that out. Actually, I'm noticing that's the kind of screw that I, I actually like the most. Uh, it's a button head screw, so it's got pretty deep socket and it's a pretty strong uh, screw. So it's gonna be more difficult to round it off, you know, to mess it up. So those screws are pretty good. Some other motors they use like a, a shallower head so there's not much uh, material and the they don't they're harder to get out so this one seems the Loctite they're using is not that bad it's uh, it, you could feel the Loctite but it's not overly hard and pretty good size screw so that that's a good screw to use and there's the, the brass washer yeah that's a fully hollow shaft actually all the way through so that's that's pretty good there we go and I'm also noticing that's one of those nice beefy bearings that's a 4x9x4 four by by four bearing so that's good yeah, that's a 9 millimeter bearing so so more than enough bearing for this motor should make this motor very durable I think so once the screws out we can pull the belt out and these magnets are pretty strong and let's have a look on their the magnifying glass so we can have a closer look alright so there's the stator and pretty neat windings uh, those are multi strand wires and it looks like in bundles of two and there you can see the really good ESO bearings pretty beefy 4 by 9 by 4 
so that should make this more motor quite durable especially because uh, uh, the shaft uh, it only has to traverse a, uh, a four, it's only a four millimeter height stator so it's gonna be a short shaft so there's gonna be a lot less uh, stress on these uh, on these bearings so so that's gonna be uh, those are gonna be those should be pretty durable I think uh, nice and beefy base actually and wires are pretty neat they're nicely tucked in so nothing uh, nothing really hanging out uh, so that's that's good uh, they should be pretty pretty well protected I think and there's the laminations look looks like a point two millimeters so this motor is pretty much packing all the all the features all the latest tech features and shaft is one piece hardened steel uh, it is magnetic so so that's uh, that should be hardened steel I think and yeah, there's a nice texture there for the uh, for the prop so that that's good 20 millimeter gauge wire uh, for the motor leads all right so let's put this back together and uh, I'll put it on the scale see how much it weighs one other thing that uh, I really like about RCX motors is that the bearings they fit snugly they're not loose they just fit uh, really snug but they they're pretty easy to to remove to pop out so I like it when motors have uh, those bearings that are that pop out easily very easy to change okay so let's put uh, this motor back together I'll put the retaining screw back on and I'll put it on the on the scale see how much it weighs and then onto the thrust stand alright so let's see what it weighs that's uh, 150 millimeters of uh, 20 gauge wire so with that much wire it comes in at 25.4 and so if we cut the wire to about 50 millimeters then we get rid of that much uh, so 2.4 we get, get rid of 2.4 so that's like about 23 grams with uh, 50 millimeters of wire so Alright, so here are the thrust test results for the RCX NK2204-2400 kV. The motor came in at about 2300 kV, so a little bit lower than advertised. So this reflects on the results as you can see on 4 and 5 inch props. The thrust is not overly high, but it's pretty decent I think considering uh, you would use this on a ultralight build. Also because of the low kV. 
uh, you can actually run this motor on 5S, I think, with some of, some of the props, with the 5030, and of course any of the four inches, and perhaps even with, with uh, one of these 5045 props, it, it should run on 5S. Once the props unload in the air, the amps uh, should be manageable. On four inch props, the motor makes a decent amount of thrust, as you can see, upwards of 700 grams on the lighter four inch props, and 860 on the four blade prop so a pretty good amount I think uh, this should be a decent amount for ultra light build uh, the one thing to note is that uh, the motor is very efficient uh, for these props as you can see the, the amps are pretty low that will help with uh, battery selection so you don't have to run a large battery so maybe an 800 or even uh, or at a thousand milliamp hour battery will be fine for uh, a build with this motor or you could also use a 5s battery and run any of these four inch props uh, 5s will also run on the on the five inch props as you can see here i ran it and uh, the motor was was pretty good uh running the 5s uh, setup but uh, still you know uh, i always say always check uh, motor temperature you know after the first flights because you you want to make sure the motor is not overheating then on five inch uh, uh, then we start seeing uh, thrust uh, close to one one kilogram so not too bad but still a little bit on the low side so uh, definitely this is going to be for uh, ultralight uh, so you can uh, have enough thrust to to get moving either that or run it on 5s so i think this motor would actually benefit quite a lot if they were to make a, a higher kv version maybe like a 27 28 or 3000 kv version of this motor would be would be pretty good i think uh, the the components on, of the motor would certainly support higher kv so that uh, you can run uh, four inch props and get enough thrust or, or even five inch on 4s uh, should be uh, should be good on a, on a higher KV. So overall the motor as you saw was pretty well constructed, uh, very well made, uh, has all the features, a lot of potential. So I think on 5S this this motor would be pretty good. Uh, it should should be able to handle 5S I think on, on all these props. Perhaps not on the tri-blade but all the two blade props uh, should should be able to handle 5S. So if anyone has run this motor on 5S and tri-blade props, let me know. I'd be interested. Any of these uh, 5043 or 5040 by 3 props, that would be interesting to find out if any uh, of you have run it on, on 5S. Uh, so overall, the motor has a lot of potential, I think. As you saw, it's very well constructed, uh, beefy bearings and beefy uh, shaft so should be able to run on 5s to get the most out of it or it'd be good also to have a higher kv versions so maybe rcx will release them at a later later time but in the meantime i think this uh this is a pretty good option maybe for a like a mellow 4s uh, freestyle uh, ultralight build so okay that's a thrust test for this motor hope you find the data useful and until the next video